boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to draw the Charlie Harper ladybug. You will learn how to do it in class with me, but I would like to show you just in case you miss anything. So you can take a look at Mrs. Sasso's website, but there is a picture that looks like this. It's called Ladybug Sampler. And it has all these different types of ladybugs that are colored in different ways and their dots are different as well. The basic shape is the same, so I'm going to show you the basic shape. I do want you to take look take a look at how they are symmetrical. That's a big word. Symmetrical just really means that they're the same on both sides. So that means that like for this one right here, there's the same amount of dots on both sides. So there's one red dot over here and there's one red dot on that side. If you take a look at this orange one, there's one dot here, one dot there. And then the one in the middle, it just shares that middle space. So half of the circles on that side and half of the circles on that side. So I'd like you to maybe think about symmetry. There's another ladybug artwork from him that I would like to share with you. And one thing I like about this, it has to do with fall. This is called ladybugs hibernating. And you can see that there's a lot of these beautiful fall leaves. And look at all those ladybugs. They're starting to go underneath the leaves to stay warm in the fall and winter time. So I'm going to teach you how to draw the basic shape of the ladybug today, and here we go. We are going to start with our circle. So our circle, wherever you would like, you can get started with it. If you'd like to do more than one, you can do more than one. I am going to start with a nice big one. And I can always use another piece of paper to make another ladybug. If you would like to make more than one on your paper, you can do smaller circles. The next step we are going to do is the letter T. And I'm going to fill my circle up with the letter T. The next step from here, I'm going to create the eyes. There are two circles, one here and one here. The next step is to create a very wide letter U, and it sits right on the top. Those are the antennae. Now this is an insect, so it has six legs. The first two legs, one on this side and one on this side, and the bottom two legs, one down here and one down here. So these two go straight out. And these two go straight down and then the ones that I'm going to put here come out at an angle like this and like this. There are other ways to draw ladybugs and Charlie Harper has drawn ladybugs in other ways. We are just following along with his example from the artwork Ladybug Sampler. From here it is up to you the artist. Where do you want to put the spots? Just remember, wherever you put the spots, you want them to be symmetrical, the same on both sides. So if I wanted a spot in the middle, I would have to make sure that half of the circle is on one side and half of the circle is on the other side. So it's the same on both sides. And I can color that in. Maybe I want to put one spot on this side I would have to put the other spot on this side and color them in. In the artwork Ladybug Sampler, the ladybugs are black and red and orange. But there's another artwork that he does where his ladybugs are rainbow color. Like a ladybug is purple, a ladybug is green. Now I don't know about you, but I've never seen a green ladybug. So I think he was having fun with his colors. So boys and girls, it is up to you, the artist, what color you would like to do your ladybug. I am coloring in the head and the eyes, those little pieces right there. And you can do this as well. And then you can carry on and color the rest of your ladybug, whatever you'd like. And remember, you can do more than one. You can just do one. You can get another piece of paper and do another one on another piece of paper. It is up to you, the artist. Just remember, enjoy and stay creative.